Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. As always, I have Flossie with me <laughs> because Flossie doesn't leave me alone. So we went to Ikea last night. My dad had the older two boys and we thought like, usually if we go to shop with them both, they just run around and cause havoc. So we thought it would be easier in the evening when we go to finish work, just to go up to Ikea on our own, well, with the young two. But they're easier because they just go and push chairs, they can't run around. So I'm going to show you what we got. We spent £58 but instead of five pence. So this is one thing we got. Um, we've already taken out of packaging because the recycling went today. So we thought we may as well get rid of the packaging. Um, it's full of red wine, isn't it? We like wine, <laughs> but I can't say we drink a lot of red wine. Curtis really liked it. And so we got it. But I can't really see us using it. That was eight pounds. Probably a complete waste of money. But when he gets like excited to get something, I'm just like, yeah. But um, yeah, we're not like I doubt the bottle's even gonna really fill that much up. But it's gonna I feel like it's gonna like the bottle's gonna come to like that, it's gonna be like so pointless. <laughs> but if you do want one of these, it's not a bad price and it is really nice. But also my other problem is we don't have a lot of storage in the house, and um, we've sort of outgrown it really. Um and yeah, I don't know where we're gonna put it, but that was eight pounds. I think we are always buying wine glasses because they smash really easily. Well, for us they do. So we got some wine glasses. Um, I thought they were quite a nice shape, but this was nine pounds for six. I probably would have bought four if you could buy them individually, but you can only buy packs of six. So we have six of these, and again, not really much place to put them, but we need a wine glasses. We then got one of these, which is like um, an anti-slip um, mat for under the rug. Because our rug in the front room here moves around quite a lot with like everyone walking over it. And this is like rubber. I'm not sure if you have to cut it to size. It looks quite big. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will work under the rug. That was £2.50. The boys have got pillows from Ikea, which are really cheap ones. You can get, we've got them too. Well, we've got like two sets. We've got like more expensive ones. Um, and then the cheap ones at the back, which are £2.25, these weren't. Um, but the ones we got are £2.25, but they come apart really easy. And Cosmo karate chopped <laughs> his in a ratio, so there's like a big gap in the middle. Um, I don't know why he did it, I think he was just trying to be annoying. So they needed new pillows. These were £8 each. Um, I will take out the packaging and see what it's like. There were two different ones, there was like a, um, they're not in a thicker, which were the same price and the same, they were called the same thing, with the narrow and the plumpier one. And I picked the plumpier one because, is that a word? Because, um, yeah, who doesn't like a plumpy pillow? <laughs> the boys use these and they always leave them in the garden. So they get really dirty enough to chuck them in the bin. Like they'll take food and drinks out there and then just never bring it back in and they just get muddy. I got the bowls, plates and cups. And they're all £1.25 for a packet, which is a good price. There are six in the packet. We got a whisk, which was £5. When we got our new kitchen, I bought like all new pots and pans and everything. And I got everything KitchenAid, because I got a KitchenAid mixer. And I really like it. Um, obviously the mixer is quite expensive, but it's amazing. So we got pots and pans and utensils to match the kitchen, like KitchenAid ones. We got them all from TK Maxx. And they weren't, they were expensive compared to like normal pots and pans, but they weren't too bad. Um, the pots and pans are really good, but I do not recommend those utensils. They, like our whiskers, the ends broken off. Um, the tongs broke. And Curtis burnt one of them. <laughs> we were making prawn crackers and he basically boiled the spoon, which is not their fault, that's our fault. But we also have the spoon, the metal like round this sort of bit on the spoon has come off. So I had to buy another packet of it all and I'm just deciding not to buy it anymore. So I have a waste. Also got a cheese grater because oh, wow. I don't I don't have a very good cheese grater and I wanted one with like um oh, do you know like oh, on the pot oh, where you like grate it into the pot because oh, at the moment ours is just like a handheld one and then you have to like grate it into a bowl or something so I wanted one on the pot but they didn't have one but we've got their glass bowls and then apparently this is supposed to attach on top and you can grate into their glass bowls and we have those bowls so that's good that was five pounds which isn't cheap, it's not bad, but it's not cheap. I always thought like IKEA was supposed to be like really good prices. I'm not really sure it is anymore. Like some things you can get for a really good price, but some things are actually quite expensive in there. The last two things we got were for the bathroom. So it's a soap dispenser. I thought it was eight pounds, but on the receipt it says it had two pounds off. It didn't say that in the shop. So it was six pounds, which is a lot better. It's bamboo and the jar is in there. And we got a matching 
holder for toothbrushes. So we have a, like a yeah. ceramic one at the moment. Do you know they don't have a hole in the bottom and they do build up like liquid in the bottom. So this has holes in the bottom. So it should all drain out. It's supposed to be six pounds, but it's four pounds. So that's quite a good price. So I am happy with that. So all together, we spent 58 pounds and 75 pence. Thank you so much for watching. I'm now gonna film my next haul. So that should be on my channel soon. Um, I bought some stuff in the next sale. And although you probably can't get it all now, I thought it was like quite interesting to show people what sort of bits you can get in the next sale. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.